Rockchip Booth and Mobile World Congress. This uh, product was uh, launched all over the US in the last month. Yes, yes, yes. In the so, CES, actually, they, Google and Samsung announced this new uh, Chromebook uh, Plus. And this actually, they're using the processor called OP1. This actually uh, the Rockchip RK3399. And uh, this chip uh, is. Uh, really optimized for the Chrome OS and Rockchip we have working with uh, Google for the last three years to optimize the CPU for the Chrome OS. We can probably say we're probably the only one actually doing the process, uh, doing this optimization for the Chrome OS in the world right now. So uh, uh, all the other processors that are used for Chromebooks uh, is like a second use, it's not the main use you are optimizing really for the Chromebook. Is it 3399C, right? Yeah, 399, but it's also called OP1 because just yeah. to try, trying to make an average, con average consumer a no, because otherwise your Arcade 3399 or other processor, you don't know what's really the uh, performance of that. And this time, it's uh, first of all, optimize the CPU for the uh, for Chrome OS. You know, Intel is probably x86, the many optimized for the Windows and uh, so we are doing this and trying to offer the best uh, performance and towards the end user for the Chrome OS. Because uh, uh, this product, the Chrome OS with Android apps, that is Android app support, yep. uh, it's really, you are, this is, up, your CPU is optimized in terms that it's exa core ARM processor, yep. and Android is for ARM, it's not for x86. Yeah, exactly. For, I think for the Android, that's because there are so many native uh, ARM applications, and then you know, the on the phone side, they're like 90 or 99% probably the, for most of the phone using the ARM processors, and uh, so, uh, for, for the Chrome, we actually also did the optimization, and for the Android, it's a very uh, native uh, for the ARM CPU. So actually, uh, uh, on, on this uh, um, OP1 CPU, you have the Mali T860, right? Yeah, T860 MP4, and uh, we also uh, put in quite a few efforts with ARM and the Google to optimize, because you know, the actual performance of the machine, not just depending on the single core CPU performance, it's really everything added up. And the CPU, the GPU, the memory bandwidth, and uh, you know, the uh, peripherals. Uh, so we are trying to integrate all this seamlessly for the, uh, for the actual good user experience for the Chrome. I hope ARM is uh, very enthusiastic to help you also, and, uh, and to help you optimize GPU compute under Mali to uh, enhance the performance even more than, uh, than what you would measuring yeah, I mean, yeah, octane score not only the octane score but yeah i think octane score is just very very uh just a uh, one side of the story and uh, if you're actually using this machine and if you see the opening the web page we're actually launching the application and also the scrolling you can see the, the problem is very smoothly very smoothly I, th I think as far as i've seen even though many reviews were doing reviews about the Chromebook Pro for some reason, but the, the reviews that I've seen about the Plus and on the Verge, uh, Dieter Boone was talking about, this is actually really fast enough for most people. Yeah, definitely it is. And also the currency, the Plus is on the market. I, I don't know where the other one is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see if it even comes out. No, I'm, I'm sure it will come out. I'm sure it's coming I won't out. comment on that. No comment. <laughs> yeah, but uh, this product and this thin yes. form factor like this, it seems to me, I would guess, it's Yeah, this really actually can go to 360, and uh, 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 the best thing, another best thing is actually, if you can see, they even have a stylus. You can put it on, and then you write on something. Actually, the, the Google actually put a very good software to also do the OCR, and then incorporate with the Google Assistant to help you for the daily uh, activities. So you can do OK Google to it. You can you can talk to it. Yeah, you can talk to it and say about. You can write down the say today I have the meeting with uh, shooting this video and that they show me uh, the note what I did for that day. Then it will coming up. This is maybe the ultimate two-in-one uh, form factor. It's it's so thin. It's so crazy thin. It yeah. seems it seems to me. I'm just guessing. It seems the whole design of the hardware is optimized for OP1. Yeah, and it's also it's like another good thing is really have a very like big panel and it's like three to uh, two ratios and I, I those 16 by 9 ratios so the actual viewing of the content is much easier and uh, and Google I, I guess is really enthusiastic about getting Android support now every Chromebook 
we'll do Android in 2017. Yeah. So yep. this is like the reference design. This is uh, this is the this is the superstar I, I, product. Yeah, right? I think currently it represents the state of the art uh, technology for for the Chrome uh, currently. <laughs> and it's also optimized price because uh, the the Chromebook Pixel is like one thousand dollar. This is. Less than half. Yeah, this is a very, I think for the average users, uh, no, in the US market, like four, four, nine, nine, forty, no, $449. Uh, and personally, I love it. Yeah, and the battery life is uh, very good, very long. Yeah, yeah very and, uh, long. So uh, hours, I right. hope that uh, you're in your collaboration with uh, uh, Samsung and Google that they are very happy with your heat, right? Your oh, yeah, I think the, 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 the power consumption, you know, it's always good. and. Uh, uh, and it's like you can do the 10 hours operating time and so... It, it doesn't get hot. Uh, it's an arm. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Exacore? Yeah. Exacore, is that, the best, is that the best configuration for this kind of product? You have two big, four small cores. Yeah, we got... Uh, I think uh, the... Because you, sometimes you need the uh, performance that is the lowest the two big core for. And also sometimes like the, the power consumption, if you can allocate those... Uh, uh, like background application to those smaller cores, so the, they are very good for the balancing on the on the product because uh, you know the big little is actually very uh, common platform for the mobile. Although I won't say for a uh, notebook it's a uh, best, but uh, it's a new uh, point maybe for power optimization. And actually, when people do an octane score, it's only measuring one core performance, right? Yeah, it is. And you have six. Oh um, yeah, right. So and and if people have Android apps and multiple tabs and et cetera and, and they're scrolling a lot and they have many fonts, they're zooming in and zooming out. All this is not an octane score. Yeah, it's also like uh, you also like depending on the GPU performance because uh, like on the other like a uh, memory bandwidth and uh, there are a lot of things actually determine the end of the user experience of uh, a, a machine. Nice. So I think there need to be uh, a more comprehensive benchmark. Uh, for the PC. Mm. And also, uh, this is just the beginning of Android for productivity. It's just the first kind of real product for this. So far, there's uh, 2 million apps in Android, but it will be very interesting to see what will come in the future. Maybe video editing, maybe photo editing, maybe office apps, and they will probably be optimized for ARM because they, they don't, all the developers will yeah. make very advanced features. They don't want to optimize for an architecture that nobody's using x86 Android. Yeah, the good thing I think is really for the, the huge Android ecosystem, you know, there's uh, billions of phones already are in the market and the people are already getting used to it. And so many developers, and maybe they are going also going to not just the existing pro, uh, application, but also in a lot of newer, for the newer apps, people will no longer doing other things, but maybe focus on the Android or the you know, Mac or, or the iOS thing. That, I think that's really, very good like, moving forward for the armor ARM processors. Because on Intel, they're emulating ARM. They have to emulate ARM to make it, uh, for, for these uh, maybe thousands of apps that are optimized for the ARM, they have to emulate. And it's just losing a lot of uh, overhead, right? Yeah, it's right? Not, a, not a native, uh, not a native code. Not native. Yeah, native and it's especially, let's say, for games also. And uh, this is a very high resolution display. But the OP1 is, is good at supporting it. Yeah, it's like the effort of this thing. Yeah. And you can output to a 4K display, no problem with the Yeah, they got port. the display port, the full Type-C support. It's actually got display port, and uh, you, know, you can also uh, actually the port also, if you have conversion, can do that DMI also. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm hoping that there's a way that this will get sold in China. Maybe with Trump, he will force China to get Chrome OS. Uh, we'll see what we happens. Uh, we'll see what happens. It will be yeah. good. All right. All right. Okay. More.